hello friend welcome back in our previous video i have already discussed about that things with you one of the event as a on charge event so right now i want to discuss about another event as a on submit event so how can working with this on submit event i will show you then everything will be very much clear to you so before i have used that on charge that is also one of the event and here i declared one of the method right so now that is our form so that is our form into the form area i want to do i want to add one of the another event that is one of the building event as a on submit so i just simply added as a on submit okay i just simply added that on submit event and into the event area i want to do i want to declare one of the method so i think you already understand what exactly you have to do so here with this because here that is another one so with this we have to access our one of the methods so i just named that method as a form submit okay from submit so this type of one of the method we have to do we have to create it right so now i just simply copy it and after this after this i want to create another method as a form submit method and here it should be as our event right sorry it should be as event you can use that e or the event so right now i'm using that event okay and then our array function so i just simply create our array function on here so now first of all i want to do and to actually check that things with our console and also that is our event and i want to make that event as a prevent default that means this page will be not loaded okay so if you don't want to pay load that page that means when you put that action as a submit then this page will be not loaded okay so for the reasons here i want to do i want to use that with this event so into the event it should be as a prevent okay prevent default so prevent default that means this page will be not loaded and after that i want to show some of the message in our console so into the console log into the console log area i want to display some of the message as a hi arian so this type of one of the messages it should be display okay friends so right now i want to visible it so right now we don't need this i just simply remove our previous one i just simply remove it so now here that is our submit button when this submit will be activated our this on submit event will be activated and into the on submit event i have created one of the method so that is our method okay that is a form submit and to the event area i added as a event as a prevent default prevent default will use for when you we don't want to load this space so then you have to use it and then into the console log area i just simply pass one of the string data as a high rn now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you refresh it so now i want to visible it in our console so now go to our inspect now go to that console so into the console area it should be display that message like here i name it as a whatever you want okay i just name it this one click as a submit yes you can see it's now showing as a high rian that means now perfectly our on submit is working you can see i just pass some of the message in our console log area as a high rian so now when you click as a submit you can see it's now perfectly getting as a high rian so now if you want to do this work like whatever the things we'll put on here and after that if you click as a submit this username will be visible okay so you can also add it so that is our name as a username i have also created our states with the username so now with this states i want to show that our this status value so right now that is our console log so right now we don't need this so here we have to set it right so if you want to set it what exactly you have to do you have to add the things with our this that means here so right now we don't need this i just simply remove it into the console area i want to show it so with this i want to access our states that is the states and into the states area i have added that username so that is our username right so with this i want to access our this states and into the states area that is the property i have already added so that is our username right so now i just simply access with this states i access our username perfect so that's all you have to do so that is a pretty much simple thing so if you now click as a save all and now if you refresh it again and now i want to put our my name as a kazi and now click as a submit yes you can see it's now perfectly show as a kazi so if you use that udemy and click as a submit yeah you can see it's now perfectly getting our on submit event data as a udemy right so it's now perfectly display our this 
name in our console log area right so that is our username field so into the input field area that is a username so whatever the things we'll put in our username area right now click the submit it's automatically will be updated so friend i hope you can well understand about it and also i make that page as a prevent default you can see if this page is not loaded if you click as a refresh and whatever the things we'll put on here click as a submit you can see if this page is not loaded but our submit is perfectly visible right that means the submit value data is visible so for the reasons here i have used that event that means the event and the prevent default so we will use it a lot of the time in our project so make that sure you actually grab all that basic fundamental things so just note it practice it when you will use it in our project then everything will be more clear to you so you know in next video i want to discuss about that multiple inputs so right now they have the single input right so here if you want to add that multiple input data how you can do that work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video